Hey guys, it's Naujot Singh Jadeja. Welcome to today's lecture as a part of C tutorial lecture series. In today's lecture, we're going to talk on operators in C. So before we begin, I have a few questions for you guys. I'm giving you a real-time scenario of writing a program to find an average SPI of your class. So what are you going to do with that? So if you have a classroom like what you have, and if I ask you to find out an average SPI, how would you do that? Next question I have is, write a program to find the batting average of the Virat Kohli. How would you do that? One more question which I have for the cricket lovers. So write a program to find who scored more runs among Rohit Sharma and MS Dhoni. So what are you going to do in the background of these programs? Let us see. So in the first program, what you have done is, you have taken the SPIs of the each student in the class, total it up or added it up, and then divide by number of students in the class. In the second question, you actually calculated the number of runs divided by number of innings. And yes, the cricket lovers will tell me only innings where he got out. That is correct. In the third case, we have, uh, we know for now, when this video is uh, aired or telecasted, that Rohit Sharma runs are less than Ahmed Dhoni runs, right? So what are these cases? This is where we are using different operators. In the first case, we use the mathematical operators as addition and division. In the second case, we use the mathematical or arithmetic operator as division. And in the third case, we use the relational operators. So operators are the one which actually make this mathematical and other operations within a programming language visible. So basically, operators are symbols that indicate the operation or the activity to be performed. So like we saw earlier, a few examples are like A plus B, but a plus is the operator, whereas A and B are the operands, right? So based on the type of operands required, first classification which we have in operators is of the three types. So we have based on the operands, the first is unary operators, second is binary operators, and third is ternary operators. So based on that, you need number of operands in the mathematical operation or any kind of operation. Whereas there is one more category which is special operations. So in the further video, this will be a series of video. So we'll be breaking it up into different parts. So you can understand operators in detail. So in the further video, I'll be explaining you what are special types of operators, which includes comma, size of, and even address of, right? Which we'll be seeing further. So based on the operand requirement, we have the three types. Now based on the operations which they perform, there's one more classification, which is very important. And those students who are watching this video as a part of preparation for the exam, this is the question which comes in the university exam. Explain types of operator and list and explain some of them out of this, right? So let us understand. First type is arithmetic operators. So the basic mathematical functions like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, and also modulo, we have arithmetic operators. In order to assign values, or equate values, we have the assignment operators. In order to increment, those who know how the loops work or incrementation and decrementation happens, we need increment decrement operators. And as I said guys, I'll be making a video for the operators as in separate in the further series. So please uh, stay tuned to the channel. In order to compare, like we saw an earlier example, comparing uh, you know Rohit Sharma runs and MS Dhoni runs in the ODI, we have the relational operators. Then in order to perform logical operations, we have the logical operators. Then the ternary operator, conditional operator. So in order to compare multiple things, we have the conditional operators. In order to perform bitwise operations, C also supports bitwise operators, right? And as I said, there is a separate class of operators, which is comma, size of, size of is basically used to find the size of the data type. We can use it size of into bracket, the data type, and it will tell you the number of bytes it occupies. And as I said, again, we'll be seeing that in detail in the further videos. And for the pointers, we have the address of operators. By now, you'd have used the percent M percent in the scanner is nothing but address of operators. So this is the introduction to operators in C. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel 
so you can see the further videos as well where we will be discussing each of them in detail thank you so much for watching have a nice day